Hey everyone, today I'd like to show you um, my home setup using Soft Expand Duo Pro. Um, like a lot of people, I have a server in the basement that runs 24-7. Uh, it houses my uh, media center, so recorded TV, TV tuners. Um, my security cameras are recording to it all the time. I have all my picture storage, uh, I run Minecraft server on it, um, pretty much everything. It was connected up to my main living room TV and that's where it basically ended. I couldn't utilize it for other areas of my home um, independently. I could split them but it wasn't, uh, I couldn't use the other systems independently. Until I found Soft Expand by Miniframe, it basically lets you take one PC and uh, you split it into four individual workstations with independent sound, video, uh, and control, uh, keyboard and mouse or remote in, in some cases. So this is my current server right here down in my basement. It's um, it's an Intel uh, Xeon processor. Uh, I can't remember what, what speed but uh, it's got six gigs of RAM, two video cards on it so I have right now I have four outputs, two HDMI with HDMI audio and then I have two USB audio uh, devices. It's got four tuners in it and I've split the VGA signal that goes to my kitchen to uh, to this room as well as the upstairs office just to give me a little bit more flexibility and the HDMI one of the HDMI signals I have a duplicator that splits that to my workout area as well as the uh, as the office upstairs because I'm not usually utilized at the same time so this is what you see when you first log in to uh, tr first turn your PC on after installing soft expand You'll see it tells you the workstation ID and how to assign your keyboard and mouse. Once they're assigned, there's also a software within um, within the PC to assign different peripherals, um, sound devices. So I'm just going to log in. I've created different login accounts. That way, when I log into my specific area, um, the settings for that account um, come across for me automatically. So I'm going to log in to Kitchen here. This is my main kitchen display that I've split down here. To make it easier for the video, I've basically I've set up a, a picture desk, a, my desktop picture as the location. So kitchen, office, and uh, network room or server room, and the uh, workstation ID number four here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start Task Manager. I'm just going to have to set you down for a second here. So I'm going to start Task Manager. Just to show what processors are running, I've got 83 processes running. I'm going to start Media Center. This is one of the big benefits. Media Center can run independently on all four systems, sharing the same tuners, so um, as well as anything else for that matter. Plex, I've got Plex Home Theater on here. Um, so let me just start. I'm just going to put on a show. This is one of the kids' shows here. So we're playing a show on here. I'm just going to show you that uh, eHome is running here. eShell. So there we go. From Horse Kitchen. That's my login. So uh, now I'm going to show you the, uh, the other system. So this one's hooked up for VGA. My projector, which is actually in this room. Uh, which projects into the next room and my receiver. The receiver is going off of a USB sound card and the projector is running off a DVI to HDMI cable. So my white balance is off here a little bit but maybe it will reset itself. So here's the movie room and again I have different uh, IDs to log in. It's the same as we saw in the other one and you're going to see that we have workstation number two and I will log in with projector. So because I've logged in with a certain ID or a username, it knows I've set it up to auto launch media center because that's what I would only use in here. And I will also start a recording in here. And the video not starting is sometimes a, a media or a, a media center thing. So let me just restart that again. There we go. You're comfortable here. So you can see this is an HD show as well, uh, recorded over the air. 
So we'll let that one go. And now I'm going to go and show you. This is a, a built-in touchscreen display that I will at one point, hopefully I've hooked up to the system as well. This is the kids' playroom, as well as where my elliptical is. Uh, HDMI splitter comes there. I just need to buy another display for that spot. So now we're going to head upstairs. Running cable to each display is pretty easy. Uh, as you can see in this spot, I just cut a little hole there and uh, I ran a USB and HDMI up to my office. So if you remember, I started the kitchen display downstairs. So you can see I'm running up here in the kitchen. This is where my audio actually is. And if we go to eShell, you can see we have projector and kitchen running. So it is the same PC running independently. So I'm just going to pause that just so, or mute it actually, just so we don't have to worry about the sound there. And this is my main living room TV. And I will log in with my remote again. I didn't show this before. This is my Keyspan remote. It's RF remote, so it doesn't worry about line of sight. And I'll log in with horse living room, workstation ID number one. And again, this one is set to auto start media center as well, because that's what we do on here the most is media center. I could go to live TV here. Let's go to live TV and we'll just put on something playing live. Remember the other ones are still running. It never usually does that for me, but let's just see if we can get it going. There we go. No problem. So the show's running. That's a high def station. This one is still running. I guess it, the show ended. Let's just start that show again. So you can see it's still running here independently. And if we go and look on our task manager. You see we have Force Kitchen, Living Room, and Projector. All three are running. Get in there a little closer. It's not focusing on you. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's okay. We can haul all three buckets in together. So I'm just going to mute this one. As far as I can. As well. And we're going to head up to the office now to show you the fourth and final display. So up here I've run one HDMI cable, one VGA over RJ45, and one USB cable, which plugs into a USB hub, which then gives me USB audio and my keyboard and mouse controls. So the final display is workstation ID number three. And I will log in with, this was originally my workout login, so, but I've split it up here. So it's called workout, but. And it was automatically set to start media center as well. Now media center can't run in full screen. Now you may say it looks like full screen and it's true. It, it's, it's running windowed but in a, what looks like full screen. So that's, we do that with a program called the Maxifier that allows windowed media center to run full screen. If you run full screen using soft expand, it'll blank out the other displays. So we need to run um, a virtual full screen, which works very well. So we're gonna start up a task, man actually we won't, we'll start up media center again and I'll run it from the Maxifier. And this time I'm going to go to 
Well, first I'll just show you over here how many E shells we have running. We have living room, kitchen, workout projector. And we can see my performance right now. I'm using two, almost three gigs, and a very little processor. And I left all those shows running on each one. So this time I'm going to show you also that Plex Home Theater works and works quite well. Your different channels, your different uh, content. You can put home videos, um, your your RIP DVDs or Blu-rays. And I'll start one from here as well. So let's go up to, let's just start that for instance. And I think I didn't set, oops. Sorry, this is, um, I don't think I ever set up Plex for here. I may have audio decoder turned on or something like that, so. We'll just start uh, recorded TV from Plex. So I didn't set up Plex on this workstation yet. This workstation for Plex, you need to set up different uh, different settings. Let me just see. I'll try to do it quickly here. It was under playback, I believe. There we go. Advanced video, perhaps. as well as audio I believe had to be set up a specific way. Not so much for, for uh, soft expand but for uh, just my my audio source perhaps. Where is the audio output in here? Am I missing it? Could be under system. Audio output. Here we go. This is what I did not want to have set up on here. There. So a little bit of tweaking, obviously, for uh, things you need to do. But once it's tweaked, it should run just fine. So there you have it. We have four independent workstations, whether it be for um, for uh, media, media center recorded TV, live TV, uh, movies, uh, general desktop computing, whatever, one PC running in the basement. All I have up here is two displays. You can see my old PC that's sitting here. Um, not needed anymore. So, and at this point, let me just start that one again, just so you can see four different things running. My processor's only at, I mean, I have a good processor, but it's only at 25%, three gigs of RAM and everything's running perfectly. So at some point I do hope to upgrade to Soft Expand 2011 which allows me up to 12 different displays uh, workstations. So we'll see if that uh, happens in the future. If you have any questions let me know. Thanks.